Look what's coming, guys. M4 CSL. And who's driving? Joseph. <laughs> so you know what that means. What's up, guys? You're watching another video. I'm on the iPhone right now because I forgot my camera at home. But we just made it here to phone too. Joseph said, pull up. There's a CSL here. And I guess the owner's getting new tires. But he asked Joseph, can you swing my car? I messed up the tires before I switched the new ones. So that's what they're about to do. And who doesn't want to see an M4 CSL drift? These cars had like a 100K markup at one point. Almost like a $200,000 BMW, guys. <laughs> oh, traction. <laughs> yeah, that shit is nice. And it's paint. Factory, uh... Matt Gray. Got the yellow DRLs on there. Got the carbon on the hood. That car's nice. CSL, bro. These things are so rare. And this is sick. Did you see the interior? Yeah. It's back. The interior after. Oh yeah. my god, bro. Have you seen one in person before? No, I don't think so. I think I've seen it at a dealership, but I never looked inside. Wow, bro. That's crazy. The car is sick, dude. And it all comes like this. It's crazy. <laughs> Got the tail lights too. The tail lights are sick. I think they're like the lasers or something like that. The design is crazy on them. Look at those tail lights, bro. It's crazy because if you've seen this thing driving, you would think it's just a normal M4, but $200,000, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Oh my god, dude. Just did the whole corner. Bro, Joseph is wild, bro. <laughs> the car's so stock, so like, you can't even hear it that much, but it's coming in. They kill the tires. <laughs> Look at the tires, bro. <laughs> That's a nice way to start the vlog. <laughs> Straight to some action, bro. What do you guys think about this? Now cap police car? Oh, hell no. All right, we made it back to 412. Look at these tires, dude. Holy crap. Bro, that is crazy. This is you can see the whole tire, look. <laughs> Damn. That's how you drive a CSL. <laughs> a lot of people I feel like would buy these cars and they won't use it for what it's meant to be. Like they'll probably like store it so they keep the miles low, but my boy just let like, Joseph whip the hell out of it. <laughs> Look at that six by six here too. God damn that shit is huge. We made it to the shop. A GTR over here. Look at this plate. This plate is perfect. Yeah. How do people come up with cool plates like that, bro? Oh that's red interior. Sheesh. You guys gotta help me out. I still don't have a custom plate for my GTR. I've owned the car for like three, maybe four years now. And I still don't have a custom plate for the GTR. We got the quiet M3 plate for my M3, but nothing for the GTR. This would have been hilarious, dude. Man, that thing is nice. I got the roll cage. It's all I can steer. <laughs> it's all the steers? Why? Uh, a Roman's F80 in here. This thing is beautiful, bro. Look at the interior on this. And stick shift. <laughs> so clean. The brown interior, like I'm not a big fan of that, but I feel like on this spec, it looks really good. To match the wheels too, it's fire. Even though I'm not a big fan of like the 
peanut butter interior. And then of course, guys, if you guys didn't watch the last video, we got my GTR back. Look how beautiful it is. I had to drive it here. <laughs> I had to put some miles on the car. Wow, this thing is beautiful, guys. It's so perfect, dude. I miss this car so much. Shout out to everyone who's showing love and support on the recent video. Everyone's so happy to get this car back. I mean, you guys saw it through the video. I was so freaking happy. I was smiling the entire video. And it's cool that a lot of you guys are just as happy as I was. So that's dope. The window tint is so dark on this car. Look, <laughs> it's like paint. Oh my God, bro. You cannot see anything. I forget how dark these windows are. Why did I tint them this dark? <laughs> Can't see nothing. Guys, there is a few things that we got to fix on the GTR. Um, unfortunately, the car was sitting for about six months in the sun, right? Check out this. No, bro. So sad. It's all like sun damage. Definitely repairable, so I'm not tripping that bad, but it does suck, dude. But yeah, it just sucks that the car is just sitting outside in the sun for so long. This happened to the carbon fiber, so we're going to try to get this re-clear coated. I just got to find the time to do it. Um, my boy told me it'll take like two or three days to get it all right correctly. We're going to re-clear coat the trunk all brand new it's gonna look brand new carbon again we're gonna probably re-clear coat the side skirts carbon fiber and then re-clear coat the carbon fiber front lip as well so everything's gonna look brand new again once we re-clear coat it because even the lip too i've had this thing for like three years i've never broke it how crazy is that guys on my m3 i broke like i went through three lips in like three months <laughs> but for the gtr it's the only lip i've ever had and it's not broken yet which is insane but it does have a lot of rock chips so if i want to get that re-clear coated the trunk the side skirts all the carbon but he told me it'd take like two or three days but right now i'm just enjoying the car so i don't want to give it away already <laughs> so i'll probably do it next week and then the most saddest part of them all i don't know how this happened you guys tell me is it because the car sat outside for so long like in the rain in the sun and all that good stuff is this what happens when you leave a car outside that long i don't know bro it's never done this before, which sucks. Look, there's condensation in the headlight. I'm showing you guys all my flaws and the wrap's kind of messed up. I gotta fix that too. Every single wrap I've had, it doesn't matter what shop it is or who wrapped my car. This car's been wrapped by three different people before. And it doesn't matter who it is, but it always lifts right here, always. I think it's because of the headlight rubbing. So it's not install failure. I think it's just because it rubs so tight on the headlight and the fender. So every single wrap I've had, it's done this in the same exact spot, it sucks. Yeah, we got to figure out how to fix this headlight too so fix the headlight i don't know how <laughs> someone help me out please or let me know who i can go to Ooh. and then i gotta re-clear cut the carbon fiber everywhere on the car surprisingly the wrap held up really really good it knows the tech is a really good brand guys i swear the wrap looks perfect still and then last but not least we gotta re-powder coat the wheels which i'm thinking i think i'm gonna polish them guys like full chrome polish it'll be sick I, that's what i think i'm gonna do well this thing is sick I guess this thing's been in a hurricane before. It looks cool though. The cage and everything. It's like a real race car. Like, I think built by BMW. Got the full cage in it. Damn. <laughs> this will be fun. But yeah, it was fully in a hurricane, bro, and they brought it back to life. It was like abandoned. It was dirt everywhere inside. So they bring it back to life. You're gonna see some dirt on it still. <laughs> That's funny. I think the car only has like 200 horsepower or 300 from factory. Well, that car. It's made for a racetrack. Like they only keep it at like 300, I think. All right, guys. We're gonna make a quick trip to Arizona, bro. I've been to Arizona like one time, I think, when I was like little, super, super young. But it's actually where Joseph is from. Joseph actually grew up in Arizona, so we're gonna go over there, visit her family, but at the same time, there's a big car meet. And at the same time, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to go look at this R8 that I've been talking about in Arizona. Everything kind of just works out. See the R8, visit her family, and also there's a big car meet. I really wanna see more car scenes in other states. We've seen Texas so far. We've seen a little bit of Florida. Cali, obviously. Saw some Las Vegas car scene. Yeah, everybody go see how the Arizona car scene is. I'm excited. Let's go see what kind of cars are there. Are you excited? Yes. Josephine hasn't been to her hometown in like... Probably three years. Three years? Before we go though, before we make this long drive, I think it's like six hours of driving. We are not taking my GTR, by the way. I'm not gonna risk it. We actually just rented a car. Uh, I'll show you guys what car we rented right now. It's nothing crazy, so don't be too excited guys it's not a gtr <laughs> bro i'm losing my voice 
That is not good too. I think I'm getting sick, guys. I'm literally losing my voice. I wouldn't be surprised if I have no voice tomorrow. Anyways, before we make this drive, I want to open up these P.O. Box packages. If you guys don't remember, I have a P.O. Box. I'll leave it right here. Actually, instead of me putting it on the screen, it's right here, guys. That's my P.O. Box. P.O. Box right there. So if you guys want to send me something like your own clothing brand, or even it could be like a letter or like anything you guys want to send, I'll open up on the vlog. And oh, this is from my boy. This is brand. Dude, he sends me almost everything of his freaking brand, dude. Yo, bro, I love the quality of shirts that he rocks. I swear, I don't know what quality shirt you guys use, bro, but I need them. <laughs> Everything's super good quality. He sent me like a hoodie and a couple shirts in the past. Shout out to you, bro, thank you. If you guys wanna check out his brand, it's right there. I'm sure it's the same as his Instagram. Again, I love seeing everybody start clothing brands and stuff like that. If you guys ever wanting to do it, start it now, guys. If you guys wanna start that YouTube channel, start it now. Start that clothing brand, start that YouTube channel. Whatever it is that you want to start, just start, bro. Hi there, Finding Nick. I've been watching your YouTube channel for almost a year now, and you are by far my favorite and the only YouTuber I watch every single day. Thank you, bro. I decided to launch a clothing brand, and I've sent you my shirt. Kindly share your thoughts with me on it. My goal is to reach 30 sales at unfairbrand.us is my Instagram, right? There, you guys might see it. Right there. Perhaps you could feature in your upcoming vlog. Got you, bro. Looking forward to seeing you buy an R8. Me too. Let's see what he sends. I guess this guy said you just started clothing brand. Damn, this quality sick too. Look at it. Feels nice. Damn, different, different, sick. I actually like it. It's nothing like you see everywhere, you know? Because a lot of people are trying to do the same thing over and over. It's sick. Dream big, work hard, stay focused, achieve greatness. You got this. Keep going strong. That's sick. This is sick. Thank you guys, both of you guys. All right, guys, let's make this a long drive to Arizona. Also, we were supposed to meet up with one of our homies, another YouTuber. You guys are gonna be excited for that. A little cool little collab in Arizona. We're supposed to cruise up together. He's coming from San Diego, I'm coming from LA. That might, that's a little hint for you. But he's not going after all tonight. He's gonna go tomorrow morning. So we'll meet up tomorrow morning. We are on the way. We in the track hawk. <laughs> I, I know my <laughs> sound like a little boy. It's not a track hawk, it's a trail hawk. I don't know if you guys can see the logo. What the heck is a trail hawk, bro? I don't know, it's like some 4x4 car. I'm gonna try to take it off-roading and find something. This is a long drive, guys. I have not taken a long drive like this in so long. Probably the longest drive I've ever driven was when I got my GTR. I drove nine plus hours, probably like 10 hours, to South uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, to pick up the GTR. Look at the rainbow. Damn. Rainbow. This is double rainbow. So pretty. Bro, that shit is bright. Guys, how is the rainbow made? Comment down below, me and uh, Josephine were saying that. The earth is flat. In the firmament. <laughs> Look it up, I swear. How is the rainbow made? Like, literally. Someone tell me right now, how is the rainbow made? I don't understand. But, uh, six hour drive. Six hours! So the flight to Arizona is like less than an hour. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't fly. Why are we doing this drive right <laughs> well, now? Well, because, like, I feel like going in the airport, like, all that time, it equals out. Yeah. And I mean, it will be a cool little drive, even though it's gonna be dark. We should've just went earlier. Well, we could show you guys. Roadrunners, tumbleweeds, and cactus. What is a You've never seen cactus! Yeah, I've never seen Roadrunner either. You've never seen cactus before. Yeah, this is great. 17 more minutes. Guys, my voice is gone. How does it even happen? Like, I'm not even talking this whole drive. I lost my entire voice, guys. Hopefully tomorrow I can actually talk and vlog because this is not good, bro. How am I supposed to do my job if I can't talk? Bro, this is bad. We just made it to Arizona. I still don't understand how Kevin drove all the way to Miami. LA to Miami, I think it was like 30 hours. He's freaking crazy. I'm just gonna knock out, I'm exhausted. We've literally been driving so long. She got to sleep, I have not slept. <laughs> it's one in the morning, so. I'll pick back up the camera tomorrow, guys. It's the next day, my voice is gone. I don't know how I'm gonna vlog today, to be honest. And we're supposed to go to a car meet right now. I don't know how I'm gonna vlog. I don't know how I'm gonna talk to people. And you guys are gonna be so annoyed this whole vlog. Like, whisper. Hey guys, look at this car. He can whisper though. Yeah, he can whisper normal. And he sounds normal. That's so weird. What is my voice? My voice is gone. Anyways, we had Whataburger. You want me to narrate it? Sure. Okay, we had. So I, I'm from Arizona, I love Whataburger. And he went to Texas and he tried it with his friends and they said it was trash. And I said, how dare you say Whataburger's trash? Um, but I made him try it again because even my best friends love Whataburger. So give us give us a rating. How is it? How is it versus the one in Texas? I feel like the one you had in Texas was trash though because there's no way you thought it was this bad. And you guys, they have spicy ketchup. 
which is yeah. the fries are good. The burger, I didn't even finish it. Oh, you didn't? They're big though. It was like a four. Okay. I'm sorry if anyone gets offended, guys, but bro, nothing hits like In and Out. No, no, no. Let me say Shake something. Shack, bomb. I'm like, honestly, I don't think it's that good, <laughs> but I think because I grew up like eating it, it's good to me. But anyways, that's what we're doing right now. And I already got caught with this speeding camera, guys. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah. Not even ten minutes driving on the roads in Arizona, I get caught with a speeding camera. Yeah. There was speeding cameras, bro. He was going like 60, and he said he looked back and everybody was going like 40. And I just see a big ass flash. Poof, got me with this speedy camera. So, who it, knows? Comment down below. Let me know. Is that a bad ticket or what? Or do I just ignore it? I don't wait, know. Wait, and you know, another thing is um, the reason that I thought you, because he pointed like next to me, but you were talking about the camera. There's a school right there. So, it's a school zone. Yeah, I thought you were pointing at the elementary school like you knew it or something. I was like, oh. But yeah, so it might be worse. We'll see. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's not bad. I asked my best friend. She said it'll be like one hundred fifty dollars. But she doesn't I know where. Because I like speedy. Yeah, I know. I told her you're going sixty, and she looked at me like I was crazy. She's like, "What the hell is he doing?" I'm like, "Yeah, I guy, drive like that everywhere." He is used to going like a hundred on the freeway. <laughs> Guys, we're about to head to this meet now. My voice is so jacked up, dude. It freaking sucks. It's like the worst thing that can happen to me trying to make vlogs, dude. Anyways, we're about to head to this car meet, guys. It's actually my boys at Low Glow, their open house. You guys might be familiar with Low Glow on my F80. They actually sponsored the F80 and put the underglow on my car. That's all from Low Glow. So we're gonna go meet the guys right now. My boy Jordan, I haven't seen him in like years, bro. Probably like three or four years, to be honest. We're also gonna meet with another YouTuber that I told you guys earlier in the vlog. I told you guys guess down below, but it's a YouTuber from San Diego. He has an STI. He's an FRS and he's a BRZ. You guys might know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, can you guys guess what YouTuber we pulled up with? <laughs> bro, I can't vlog at all, bro. Up, Chris, how are you? <laughs> guys, bro, you guys need to flame Nick because I told him to bring the GTR to Arizona. I, know. I told you like five I wanted times. to bring it so bad, dude. I'm just so paranoid with the freaking all the money I spent and all the time I spent. Now. Dude, I can't vlog. You're good, bro. You might have to vlog for me. Nah, dude. <laughs> Bro, look how clean Chris's car is. <clears throat> Dude, I sound stupid. Like, I don't know why it's like that. Bro, this thing looks so good. The wide body kit is crazy. Bro, I pulled up and it was so wide. <laughs> look at that. Bro. I told Chris, I still want to build an FRS one day. Said this story in the past, but before I got my E92 M3, I wanted an FRS so bad. I almost got an FRS instead of my M3. Imagine how different life would have been. I wonder if I would have even started a YouTube channel still. I don't know, bro but I wanted an FRS so bad. It was like my dream car at one time. Then I got that BMW and then the, you know, the story unfolded there. I got all BMWs after that, but I want to get an FRS still. Like, it would be so fun to build. He told me there's like eight different wide body kits you could choose from and you could do everything. Tail lights, trunks, like the modifications are endless, bro. This one's sick. It's like the new TJ Hunt body kit. I think Chris is like one of the first ones to do it, but it looks crazy on the road, bro. And he drove it all the way from San Diego. He's crazy. He wanted me to bring my GTR so bad, but guys, I'm so paranoid. I don't want to break my GTR and have it sit for a few months again. I'm, I can't do it, bro. Or spend all that money again, dude. I'm so paranoid. Back in the day, when my GTR was like reliable, I would drive it everywhere. I would have drove it here, to be honest. But now, once it broke, now I'm scared. If I had that Fady, I would have for sure brought it. All right, I need to stop talking, dude. How am I going to vlog like this, dude? <laughs> and then we got the other homies BMW, the wagon. This thing is sick. Look how low it is. I think it's on bags. It has to be on bags, right? <laughs> Got the TEs. The wagon's hard, bro. Damn. I'm speeding because I have to poop. <laughs> There's no way, bro. It's hilarious. Anyways, yeah, it does suck. I wish I had my car. It would have been way more fun to cruise with these guys. Look at the details, bro. All the aero. But I love this car. I still want to build one. Bro, you should. I swear I do. I think I told you, like, before I got my BMW, I wanted an FRS. Yeah. Like, that was, like, my dream car when I was, like, in high school. That's my car, bro. And I just, I don't know, I went the BMW route. But I still want one, bro. Should you get one, guys? I think you should. <laughs> That shit sounds good. You guys know he's supercharged? I think he's been supercharged for like over 100,000 miles. They're reliable, bro. <laughs> Charging sounds sick, watch. Oh, you guys don't understand how close I am. I'm just ending the vlog here. 
because my voice is probably so annoying to you guys. I would not want to watch a YouTube video where the YouTuber sounds like this, dude. I can't talk, bro. What the heck? Honestly, that is like the nicest FRS I've ever seen. I swear, bro. All right, guys, we have made it. And again, I'm so excited to see like the Arizona car scene. It's dope to see like different cars, bro, and how people build them differently in different states. And like, at the like energy, I feel like, I don't know. Every state's like different, bro. Everyone has different vibes, different cars, different styles, all that good stuff. So I'm excited, let's check it out. Already off the bat, a bunch of FRSs, a lot, bro. But I think that's like Loglo's like really big niche. <laughs> Got a super here, super Rari, next to a Rari. <laughs> bro, <clears throat> damn, this thing is sick. I've seen this thing all over Instagram. Look at the wheels. Big baller, bro. <laughs> There's a lot of cars. Oh, I hear Chris in there. Damn, look at this thing. Oh my god. Got a little single turbo, crazy hood exit exhaust. Definitely not from Cali. <laughs> no hood exits over there. Assault! No way! No, I'm all the way out here. <laughs> dude, it's so good to see you. Bro. I know. I haven't seen you in like dude, three years. No, bro. it's been like six. Or dude. more, yeah. yeah. This is crazy to be here. Man, welcome to the low glow <laughs> warehouse, my bro. Yeah, this is dope. You can vlog for me, bro. I can't talk. No, bro, I got you. I got you, bro. <laughs> from California, my boy finding Nick for like seven years. <laughs> so it's cool to see him come out from California and support us. Uh, support, oh, yeah. support what we do. It truly means a lot. And every one of you coming up and supporting is insane. My boy Jordan, you guys might remember him. I'm gonna show you that poster up there. That's his car. He had him in a vlog like, Bro, probably like six years ago, like you said. They're the ones who created the underglow. The underglow kits that you guys seen on my F80 and a ton of other cars all over Instagram. Literally the best underglow kit you can buy for any car. So we got Chris's car here all over San Diego. We got a Huracan here. This is our new warehouse. Here you guys can see some of the underglow. Damn, that makes me miss my F80, bro. I feel like I didn't even get to use the underglow that much, too. Like, I kept forgetting I had it. <laughs> but when I would turn it on, everybody would trip out because it's literally so bright in person, bro. I mean, I hope it picks up on camera how bright it is. And it has so many different colors. If you guys remember, I even put like red and blue, like the police lights. That was hilarious. This is where they ship out all the stuff. That is super sick. I love seeing the homies create a business like this and how big it's getting. It's crazy. Maybe one day we'll need a warehouse like this, bro. They got the racing sim here. That is sick. I want to build one of these at home so bad but <laughs> oh, that is sick that's my favorite for sure bro oh, you should get pulled over on <laughs> chris's car is so sick if you guys don't know who chris is he does youtube videos too he does merch too like i feel like we're the same people but different like bro, style bro, bro. I'm telling you, <laughs> you too right bro. bro i feel like i feel like we motivate each other bro so it's dope but yeah we're literally the same people bro just different guys <laughs> <goals. laughs> nah we're the same bro i swear but this is dope it's dope seeing chris's car i literally wish i brought my car now. Hang on more, bro. I, I want to hang out with Chris more because we live so far, dude. But I'm gonna go to San Diego more. Hopefully, he comes to LA more. I know. And like I said, I do want to build one, bro. And if I actually get one, yeah. I would actually go to you and we could do all of it together. Yeah, we'll be tight. Together, yeah, that'll be sick. I don't know how you drove it that far, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> It's like a show car, but he actually uses it. Bro, it, it never sits, bro. <laughs> That's a lot of miles, too, huh? 150,000. 150,000 supercharged, bro. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. Hella that proves that it's reliable, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Here's Jordan's car. You guys might remember it. It was in a vlog like six years ago. That's his Instagram right there. His BRZ was crazy, guys. A crazy wrap on it. Highlighter yellow. It was crazy. All right, let's check out some of the cars that pulled up. There's a freaking R34 right here. Sedan. <laughs> this thing looks crazy. It literally has the same rear end as an R34. <laughs> Fake GTR. And it has the same front end. It's just four doors. Red over here, FRS, or right. <laughs> GR86, my bad. Do people clown on you if you say FRS or BRZ or GR86? I don't know. <laughs> you guys see what I mean though? They all look different. Like everybody has different kids, different hoods, different bumpers. Bro, there's a lot of mods you could do to the FRSs. That red was sick. Evo. Let's check this out. Some BMWs. <laughs> there was a bunch of FRSs. I haven't seen no BMWs till right now. <laughs> this is Nardo Gray one. He says he watches the vlogs. It's Shout out to him. Nardo Gray competition. Also, it's paint. Yeah, it is paint. Damn. Oh, yeah. That shit is nice. I want to see the back. Damn, that shit is sick. 
<laughs> Bro, single exit, guys. I wanted to do this. This shit is sick, bro. It sounds good. It's a Sencal. I don't know if you've heard of them. Maybe. Uh, bro, it sounds, it sounds different than like any it's, other it's BMW. Deep, it's deep and high. You got yeah. that Sencal logo right there. That's All four inch. Nardo gray paint, M4. Yeah, it looks perfect. Honestly, it's perfect. I told myself if I get another one, I'll probably get an M4. Yeah. Oh, it's, they're, it's, I love it. Yeah. It's love super it so sick. Much. Oh. It really sounds different, bro. It's, I swear. It's, it's big different. Yeah. <laughs> That's badass. And it looks cool, too. Oh, it looks, it's unique. Yeah, it's unique. No one really does the C like this, so yeah. it's cool. It's kind of bringing like the JDM to like the Beamers. Especially with kind of the, the, yeah. the wheel. That's sick. Damn, big old tire on the Z. Bro, that shit looks crazy. That's sick. Well, there's a lot of cars out here, guys. I'm trying to vlog the best I could, but... Wait, what the... A Supra with a big old single turbo? Wow, that engine bay is super freaking nice. Look at that. Dude, wide body Subaru. Clean. I'm probably gonna lose my voice at the end of today, guys, even more. <laughs> I'm trying to make this vlog. <laughs> Damn, look at the camber on this thing, bro. Damn. That shit's insane. And the window tint. That shit's nice too, but... Bro, the camber on this one. Oh, this is fire. Honestly, super freaking clean. Another Beamer. The carbon hood on it. Low life, bro. Oh my god. Another Beamer. My bad, guys. I gotta film the BMWs when I'm here. <laughs> Another FRS, too. So many here, bro. Look at that wide body kit. See, a completely different kit than Chris's. I feel like every FRS just looks different in their own ways. It's really cool, bro. Like this platform, I feel like they're all different. And then we got the Austin Yellow F80, literally like David's old car. Um, talking about David's old car, David actually picked up a new car, guys. So hopefully when I get back to Cali, we can film a video with David's new car. I'm so excited to show you guys, and I'm so excited to see it, bro. So hyped at the new car that he got. It's so freaking sick, and I can't wait to drive it either. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun to drive, bro. But yeah, it's literally like David's old F80. Damn. More underglow. Oh, it's sick. I kind of want to put it on the GTR, guys. Should we do it? Comment down below, yes or no. Underglow on the GTR. Coming back, bro. Underglow's coming back, I'm telling you. The new Z. Bro, what's crazy is I feel like you don't really see the new Zs that much. No, no one really buys them, I feel like. Look at the Underglow, dude. They all have it. It's so sick. Same red as mine, too. You guys remember when I had my Z? It was a fun car to have in the meantime. It was a car I always wanted, so it was cool to enjoy it for a little bit. I think this is Jordan's car with the new wrap on it. One that was highlighted yellow that I showed you inside. This is his new wrap. This is Nardo Gray. Way more simple than before, but it looks clean. It's honestly perfect, dude. Anyways, guys, this was super cool to see. It was cool to see a little bit of the Arizona car scene. I don't know what we're about to get into now. It sucks. I don't have my own car. So I'm kind of just limited on filming these cars, but I'm trying my best to vlog too, guys. Please bear with me. I'm sorry if it's annoying. I thought Arizona was hot, guys. It's freezing, bro. Got the merch. <laughs> hey, bro, I've been meeting so many people over here, bro. I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> I know. It's so sick seeing people that watch my videos in Arizona. Like, it's crazy to me, bro. All right, guys, we just left the meet. That was super dope, bro. I met so many of you guys in person. That was so freaking sick. Again, I said this in the past vlogs before. It's so dope seeing people that watch my videos in other states. That's when I really opened my eyes to see how big we've came and how big we've grown this channel. And just the love and support you guys showed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Somebody told me they drove like two hours just to meet me today. So that is freaking awesome. Thanks for showing love to the homie Jordan's brand as well. I'm sorry, I have no voice. I tried having conversations with everybody, but damn bro, I'm gonna lose my voice for sure tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Arizona vlog. Quick little trip to Arizona, literally a day trip. Tomorrow we may, may or may not see this R8. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the other day I seen that it was sold. He marked it as sold. But then this morning I checked and it's back up for sale. So I don't know what's going on. I messaged him. Hopefully we can look at the R8 before we leave Arizona. I just want to check it out in person before I just commit to this one. So we'll see if we are going to look at it. I'll continue the vlog. If not, I'm going to end the vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see where the next vlogs take us. I want to visit a lot of different states. Bro. I'm excited. Hopefully I feel better in tomorrow's video. Peace. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows be better tomorrow.
Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.